the 2018 Mental Attitude Award for Girls Swimming is Alexandra Bader. So congratulations to Alexandra Bader, senior, Jay County. She's a recipient a of in the Mental Attitude of $1, Award. $1,000 will be awarded to Jay County High School. This money will be added to the General Scholarship Fund in the name of Alexandra Bader. Congratulations to Alexandra and Jay County High School. And before that award was handed out, you see a big bright smile from her as she makes her way all the way down the deck to receive the award. As you said, Rock Coach of the Year award going to Kyle Hembry, getting it done for Northridge. Yeah, absolute great work from Kyle and the rest of his staff up there in Northridge. Uh, as we talked about, Joe Keller had been there for, for quite a long time, and it's just a testament to the smooth transition that took place with Kyle taking the reins there at Northridge. And, and also the testament to the community of Middlebury that is uh, super supportive of the swimming and diving teams there. So congratulations to the, the whole community. I, I'm sure that Kyle would be the first one to say that like he's going to pick up the award, but it really does uh, go to, to everybody involved with the program. And what's cool about this specific award, the mental attitude, is in part it leaves a legacy. You see right there a check made out to Alexander Andrews. Alexander Bader's school at Jay County, $1,000 going to them, and they celebrate with her parents. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we get to, like, actually one of my favorite times of the year where they actually hand the mic to the athlete. Uh, it, these have always been great representatives of the student athletes that we have in the sport of swimming and diving here. Uh, these are great individuals. We're really proud to have them uh, represent this sport. Uh, throughout the country so we'll, we'll see if they do uh, do a, a little interview here yes hopefully uh, there it is uh, he's moving into position and making sure that uh, he gets a chance to talk to her but I really encourage not only uh, not only those of you that are still with us but especially the young swimmers listening uh, to what it takes to be a middle attitude award winner here in this sport send it down Mark Forster has the winner Alexandra can you can you put words into to how this feels not really. I wasn't expecting this at all. I filled out the form just kind of to do it, just to see like how it would go. I never really expected someone from such a small school to even be able to like apply for this or anything. It's just super surprising to me. You know, in this moment, can you quantify your high school experience, you know, captivating in this senior year award right here? Yeah, this basically just tops everything. I mean, coming here every single year, ever since I was little with clubs and meets and then coming here every year for high school, it's just been amazing. And then this just puts a cherry on top. Mom, <laughs> uh, how, how does proud sound? Does that sound pretty good? Yes, I, I don't have any words. If Alex is such a go-getter. I knew if anybody could go and do what she sets out to do, she can if she has her mindset to it. But there's times she would absolutely drive me crazy. Um, if anyone knows Alex, they'll know what I'm talking about. But I am super proud of her and everything that she has done. And I can't wait to watch her in her next four years at Ball State. Can't leave out Dad. Got Ball State on, on the lapel there. That's where she's going. How proud are you in this moment? I didn't have my Jay County thing today, so I had to wear my Ball State. Uh, shocked, but not really surprised, to be honest with you. Um, I know she's well-deserving of it. And I'm sure there's other people out there too, but um, we want to thank everybody that considered her and um, super proud. Congratulations, thank Alexander. You. Thank you. That's Mark Forrester with the winner, Alex Bader, a senior at Jane County. Yeah. And she, how that was pretty neat of her to explain. You know what? I don't expect things like this, especially being from a small school and not central Indiana. Right. And, and this is kind of the beauty of. The, the single class championship that we have here in this state. I know every year that there's some, there's some talk about how you know, it, it should be broken up, uh, and I'll, I'll leave that debate for another time, but the opportunity for someone from a school such as Jay County to get this, uh, this spotlight as well and, and to be able to serve as a representative for the type of citizens that 
are uh, are being created through the sport of swimming and diving in the Indiana high school system. Again, tribute to the communities as well. Uh, We didn't get a chance to talk about it a lot during the broadcast, but I hope everybody kind of got a glimpse of that there's great swimming in every corner of our state. Uh, yes, Carmel gets gets most of the headlines, but we had champions and finalists and, and from all over the state, different size schools, and that it, it's real testament to the community here in the state of Indiana. She'll pose for just a few more pictures. Allow for this moment to last as long as she chooses here at the IU Natatorium. And soon we'll award presentation of the runner-up trophy followed by the state championship trophy going to Carmel yet again the 32nd consecutive title